Today I'm going to show you how to recreate one of my absolute favorite styles from the Met Gala 2018 red carpet. Brenda Atia created this gorgeous masterpiece for the beautiful Jasmine Saunders, aka Golden Barbie, and I fell in love with it the moment I saw it on my red carpet live show, and I told you all that I would do a tutorial. So here it is. You guys should give both Renda, the absolute hair genius, and Jasmine a follow on Instagram, or at least just go leave a nice comment on this style picture because it really is pretty epic. I tried to get as close as I could to the look, which really depends on your supplies. I picked all of this up at Joann's, but it can be found at most craft stores. Note that we have some gold ribbon and thread, suede cord in a darker red and light pink, the smallest pearl strands I could find, a gold braided cord to tie up the bottom, and lots and lots of bobby pins. Not pictured is some gold spray paint and elastics. Moving right into our hairstyle, I started by adding in some of my Luxie hair extensions, which I'll link below. For a look like this, you need lots and lots of hair, so this is pretty necessary. I used the Zotos 180 Pro Teaseless Volumizing Powder Shake to give my hair a lift, just spraying it into the crown and working it in. I love this stuff, and I'm definitely going to be doing another video with it coming soon. Create a little poof about like this and make sure it's smooth before securing it down with bobby pins. You can then use your hands to poof it up even more and give the braid some height. So note that my hair still has this middle part in the front, but then blends in in the back. Next, I'm just gonna section off hair in the front since we want the hair to swoop down low like this. So do that on both sides and you can see how it will ultimately look from the front. We don't need to use this hair yet, so tie it away perhaps into a beard like me and grab all of your supplies. You wanna take sections of hair from the outside of the poof and wrap them. So the easiest way that I've found to do this is to tie your cord in a knot around the elastic and double loop the elastic over the hair. And you can easily then wrap the cord all the way down. At the bottom, grab an elastic and tie it over the cord to secure it down. So again, grab a good sized section of hair and start with tying a knot around the elastic. Make it as baby of a knot as you can so you don't have a huge tail on it, or you can always cut that tail off. Then secure it in your hair two times around. And note that you wanna tie it lower on the strand and not all the way at the top. And again, wrap all the way down to secure. So this is the concept. And add all of your cord pieces closer to the back so you can save a good size section right below slash behind your ear to use for the pearl strand. So for this one, Wrap your elastic around the section of hair and string the end of the beads through the elastic, folding them over on themselves and kind of clamp it right into place. Wrap all the way down and make sure you keep it close together so it looks very beaded because you want this piece to definitely show up in the braid. And at the bottom, just secure it with an elastic. Add one last red strand here and then move to the other side to do the exact same thing. Now would be a good time to mention that I ran out of clear elastics in the middle of this tutorial, so I had to use black as well, but ideally you would be able to only use the color that matches your hair, and that goes the same for bobby pins as well. It just helps make the entire hairstyle seamless and neater looking. As you can see, I have a total of three red strands, one pink strand, and one pearl strand on each side. So we're good to go, let's start pinning. This is the fun part guys. So. You want to just bring each strand over one by one and pin them into place. And you can overlap them and play around with it in the mirror to see what looks best. But this starts to look like a braid within itself. Mainly just try to keep those bobby pins hidden. Once they're all pinned down, it's time to work with the front sections. So we're going to tie a piece of red thread directly onto the strand and make sure it's low enough so the color doesn't start until the back of the head. And then wrap the cord all the way down. Bring the section back and pin it into place. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other side. We're gonna stop for a second here because I'm actually really into this look before I even braid it, but we're gonna braid it today. And to do that, you wanna separate all of the pieces into an even three sections. And we have one more element to add in. So find a small piece of free hair and we're gonna add a pop of gold. You can use a pretty thread, but I found it to be like kind of tedious and it showed up a lot better with this thicker ribbon. So when you get to the bottom, use the ribbon to tie a baby knot around itself and pull tight. And finally, it's time to just do a normal braid. Grab your cord and wrap up the bottom of the braid, but make sure that you leave out the tail end so you have those cool pieces of cord and hair dangling out. 
and then secure the bottom by tying the cord in a baby knot around itself. If you have a lot of extra danglies, just carefully snip them off, be careful not to cut any of your own hair, and then toss the extras away. Last leg of the style, let's add in the roses. Cut them so you have about an inch of stem, and then you can secure that inch down with the bobby pin. And for my magic trick of the day, poof, some are gold. <laughs> and this can just be done with a metallic spray paint. I've linked a few below. When adding in the flowers, I was just trying to mimic the way that they were placed on Jasmine's head. So you just want to really fill in the sides so the roses can be seen from the front as well as the back. And my advice to you is to kind of go flower happy. Jasmine made sure to tell us when walking down on the red carpet that the roses were definitely real, which made the look that much more to die for. And I love the touch of the green that you get from the stems. Quickly here, you'll notice the flowers on the left are much smaller than the ones on the right. And a little trick for you is if you ever want more manageable, tighter buds, just peel off the outside layers and it's a whole new look for your flower. And this is how I adjusted the rose sizes to match Jasmine's as close as possible. So here's my completed braid. I cannot say enough how obsessed I am with this look. So once again, a huge shout out to Renta Atia for being a killer hair guru and an overall just creative genius. She also reached out to me on Instagram guys when I posted a teaser of this video and my week was literally made. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this look. Since unfortunately I couldn't wear a custom gold H&M gown, I settled for this Forever 21 little yellow sundress and a similar looking necklace to what Jasmine wore. I hope you guys all enjoyed this look. If you did, as always, hit that like button and make sure to subscribe for many more videos and recreations to come. Bye guys!